Yo, what is up guys? Today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be talking about Point of the Stag. So this is the new, quote unquote, new ritual weapon for Season 10, Season of the Worthy. And I like it. I actually like it a lot. I uh, did not expect to like it this much, but I'm not going to lie. At the end of the video, I'm going to be talking about a few things that I just I disagree with uh, Bungie in particular. But let's talk about the weapon first. So point of the stag it's a combat bow it's looks beautiful it looks fucking amazing let's get that out of the way first i think it looks good uh it just i like it a lot so the first trait is going to be list elastic string excellent snapback decreases accuracy faster draw time slightly increases handling speed natural fletching feather light with good control slightly decreases accuracy greatly increases stability and that's pretty much it for the draw time although the draw time's awesome i like it it could be a little faster but this is why archer's tempo is here archer's tempo is going to be the main one to go for because no distractions on a bow is the dumbest thing in the fucking world and i'll explain later and then for the second perk it's going to be vorpal weapons hands down so Let's talk about no distractions first. So no distractions on a bow is kind of the dumbest thing in the fucking world because think about it, it's a bow. The only the only way that you can take advantage of no distractions, and I mean fully like no distractions is up all the time, is if you're a hunter wearing the bow uh, exotic arms. If you don't have those on, you have like maybe, maybe two seconds to really and I mean really take advantage of no distractions because you can't hold it indefinitely. Like if it was like, if they had made a new bow where it was like, you can hold the draw indefinitely, but like with decreased uh, damage or something, then no distractions would have value there, but it doesn't. There's no point in putting no distractions on a bow if you're not using the exotic arms that I'm talking about. So. No distractions is an immediate trash can. All, not only that, I'm a little biased. I hate no distractions. I've always hated no distractions. I just don't see the value there. But I also don't lane hard. I don't like just peek and just stay there. I don't do that. I'm very aggressive. So for me, no distractions just weighs me down too much. And I like to just keep running and running. So that's probably just different in playstyle. Vorpal Weapon is going to be the best one in this slot, obviously. Uh, it does extra damage against uh, Guardians against in their super. That's amazing. You're able to almost one-tap Hunters with their Golden Gun. I think they only have like a sliver of health left. So if you have like something like an SMG or a sidearm or anything, easy, easy way to kill. But Vorpal is going to be the best one. You have added value because of Vorpal Weapon and because, in my opinion... I have the storm is just garbage on a bow. We've never seen one on a bow, but that doesn't mean that's amazing. I like. I don't like when oh you get this ability when your health is low. It's like ugh. The only one that I fuck with with that has that same thing is bottom tree arc for hunters because then I actually see something on a weapon. I just don't see the value. So. I like this weapon a lot. I feel like it's sna it's snappy. It it feels very rewarding. If you're gonna ask me what kind of mod you should put, obviously for hunters, Icarus Grip, and honestly anyone who likes to jump a lot, Icarus Grip, my my guy, it is so good. It I can't even explain how many times I've been saved by this. It it's great. I mean, yeah, sure you can do freehand grip. You can do radar tuner, targeting adjuster counterbalance i guess but me Icarus grip all the way helped me a lot and that's pretty much it i think the weapon's amazing i think the way to attain the weapon was a little strange because you get it from what is it the fifth quest step which is basically they give you this weapon and they're like all right just get 10 kills and i was just like okay not gonna i don't know how i feel about that if you need a guide for the armor i should have that video out already so i'll probably have it in the link and the description below but ultimately point of the stag is pretty good i like it a lot it's not a god gun it's not, nothing like that but if you like bows i can guarantee you that this is going to be fun for you 
I just question why Bungie put no distractions on a bow. Like, did you even try? <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, I'm not sorry. So, now that that's out of the way, I want to talk about something that DMG said not too long ago, which is probably going to piss off a few people, which is fine. Don't really care. This is my opinion. But, but DMG said, hey all, we are aware that of the strong desire for players for Pursue Weapons to return for Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit. Speaking with the team, they are candidates for future weapon allocation in the future seasons. Can't make, or I'm sorry, for future, for, ugh. Weapon allocation in a future season can't make any promises yet. It's a tricky balance at balancing act as pursuit weapons could come at the cost of general rewards allocated for alternative activities. Legendary weapons for trials as an example. We'll be sure to let you know our future plans when we have more information. So the reason I have an issue with this is because they're essentially saying, so the reason why you guys don't have ritual weapons is because we have to bring trials weapons, even though everything about trials i'm not even joking like 95 percent of trials that we have in destiny 2 is a reskin copy and fucking paste of destiny 1 trials so you're telling me oh we couldn't put ritual weapons because we had to put trial weapons even though you guys are not creating anything new as in like new models new 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 perks new nothing the the new perk is just a stronger version of the old perk we used to have you're telling me you couldn't do that because you were bringing trials back now i do understand that the boons are completely different now they did a lot of changes to the networking with steam as well that's cool and all but vanguard crucible and gambit it's all it's it's always been just a reskin of a weapon model that we already have with like some added flair and then you know give it you know whatever what do we, what do we should what should we give a gambit weapon i don't know make it make it a sword and give it rampage with swashbuckler or swashbuckler with insert something here you're telling me we couldn't get that like and it's not even like, oh, but they have to think about the quest. Okay, kill 200 enemies with... S mm, kill 100 enemies with swords. Kill 10 invaders with swords. And then reach Fabled in the Gambit playlist. That's it. I just came up with that on the fucking fly, bro. Like, again, I just don't see the issue with making Vanguard, Crucible, and Gambit weapons when... All you really need to do is think about okay, what are what's going to be the the quest steps and what's going to be the perk allocations. Even though they always choose shitty perks most of the time, so the reason I have issue with this is because now I have no reason to play Vanguard or Cruise or Gambit. Crucible I play just because I enjoy the PvP in this game for some reason, but Vanguard and Gambit specifically Gambit, I. I don't play. I like Gambit. I just don't bother to play it much. Why? Because I could be doing other things with my time than playing Gambit. Honestly, I could be doing Crucible. I could be doing Vanguard. I don't even do the weekly for Gambit anymore. Again, I have to reiterate. I actually like Gambit. I have no problem playing Gambit. But when there's no incentive, I'm not going to do it. Like, I don't really give a fuck, dog, to be honest. So, it's not like I go into Destiny 2 or I'm playing some other game and I'm like, you know what I want to play? I want to play Gambit. No, I've never felt that. I like Gambit. I don't have any issues with Gambit. I'm on the spectrum of, I think Gambit's great. I think it adds a playlist of something different that some people like, some people don't. I like it, but I don't spend my time in it. Mostly because I burn myself out and Forsaken with it. But I still like Gambit. I, still, I love Gambit Prime. I just think they need to tweak Gambit a little more because the time investment to reward ratio is garbage i hate it so i just i have so many issues with this guys it's it really kills me because on one hand we have returning armor from forsaken for iron banner a returning ritual weapon that we knew about that was supposed to come come in season 
last season, Season of Dawn, that we're getting now. And then we don't have any ritual weapons because, oh, we had to bring the trial weapons even though they literally just copy pasted from Destiny 1. And if, if they had to remodel it for Destiny 2, cool. But like, they already had it in Destiny 1. It's not like they're like thinking, oh, how am I going to do this? I, they know how to, whatever, whatever. Me personally, I just think it's bullshit. I think this excuse, this is a mad excuse that's horrible. The fact that they're like, oh yeah, they're candidates for future weapon allocation. When we've had one since Forsaken. Not a ritual, but a pinnacle. You get my drift. It's just... So, so what you're telling me, Bungie, is that next season we'll have a ritual weapon, but we might not have trial weapons. Why? Why is that? So I didn't want to make this video rant. I might just cut this video into two different videos so I can have the stag in a completely different video because I do think the stag is good. I think I would have enjoyed it last season, but cool, whatever. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, be careful out there, guys. You guys already know what's happening in the world right now. Wash your hands. Wash everything. Don't sneeze on people. And, you know, just be safe. Uh, if you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you, everyone, for the constant support. Like I said, I do apologize that they, this came out a little ranty at the end. But it's just that we're losing stuff here, like, time and time again. And it's just I'm kind of tired of it, to be honest. So, yeah, I will see you guys later.